Welcome to Cheap Cheese. Today we embark on a global journey through the captivating world of wine. Our planet generously produces and consumes an astounding amount of this divine elixir. The top vineyard virtuosos weaving their magic are countries like France, Italy and Spain, while the USA and China lead the chorus in consumption. Wine, like the people who enjoy it, comes in a variety of delightful flavors. Among the reds, Cabernet Sauvignon reigns supreme, with its rich, complex notes captivating palates worldwide. On the lighter side, Chardonnay, with its versatile and refreshing profile, is the white wine that people can't seem to get enough of. But here's the question, what separates a bottle of wine that costs less than a movie ticket from one that could buy you a car? Stay tuned as we delve into the fascinating differences between cheap and expensive wines. Have you ever wondered why some wines cost a small fortune while others are as cheap as chips? Well, let's uncork this mystery together. There are several factors that contribute to the price difference between cheap and expensive wines. The first is the cost of production. This includes the price of the grapes, the process of making the wine, and the cost of aging it. Premium wines often use high-quality grapes from esteemed vineyards, which come with a hefty price tag. They also undergo a meticulous winemaking process and are often aged for several years, which adds to their cost. On the other hand, cheap wines are usually mass-produced using lesser-quality grapes. The winemaking process is streamlined and less time-consuming, and these wines are usually sold young, which means they don't have the added cost of aging. The second factor is the brand and reputation. Winemakers with a long history and prestigious reputation can command higher prices for their wines. It's a bit like buying a designer handbag, you're not just paying for the product but also the brand. The third factor is supply and demand. If a particular wine is in high demand but has a limited supply, its price will skyrocket. Now let's look at some numbers that highlight the disparity. A bottle of cheap wine can cost as little as $5, while a bottle of premium wine can easily cost hundreds or even thousands of dollars. But here's a fun fact for you. Studies have shown that most people can't tell the difference between a $30 bottle of wine and a $300 one in a blind taste test. Also, just because a wine is expensive doesn't necessarily mean it's better. Wine preference is highly subjective and depends on individual tastes, so while the price tag might be a factor, it's not the only thing that counts. Remember, the best wine is the one you enjoy the most, regardless of its price, so cheers to that. Now let's dive into what really sets these wines apart their production process. The journey from vine to wine is an intricate dance of art and science. When it comes to cheap wine, the goal is quantity over quality. The grapes are often machine harvested, and wineries use high-tech machinery to speed up the fermentation process. These wines are typically aged in stainless steel vats or inexpensive oak alternatives, which lacks the complexity and depth of flavor that comes from traditional oak barrels. In contrast, the production of expensive wines is a labor of love. It starts in the vineyard, where the grapes are hand-picked to ensure only the finest are selected. After that, they are carefully fermented, often using natural yeasts present on the grape skins. This process takes longer but adds to the unique character and complexity of the wine. The aging process is another crucial factor. Expensive wines are usually aged in premium oak barrels which can cost hundreds of dollars each, this not only increases production costs but also contributes to the wine's rich, nuanced flavors. Moreover, these wines are often left to age for several years before they hit the market, adding to their exclusivity and price tag. Let's not forget about the terroir, a French term that refers to the unique combination of factors including soil, climate, and sunlight that gives a wine its distinct flavor. Expensive wines often come from regions with highly regarded terroirs, further boosting their prestige and price. Lastly, the branding and marketing of a wine also play a significant role in its cost. Expensive wines often come with beautifully designed labels, elaborate packaging, and a compelling story. All these elements add to the overall experience of drinking the wine, making it more than just a beverage but a luxury experience. As you can see, the journey from grape to glass is a complex one, and it significantly impacts the cost of your favorite bottle. But how does the quality of wine affect our health? Now that's an interesting question to uncork, isn't it? When we think about the ingredients of wine, we usually think of grapes, yeast, and perhaps a bit of magic. But what if I told you that cheap wine often contains more than just these basic elements? Yes, my friends, it's not all rainbows and vineyards in the world of affordable vino. Let's start with sulfites, 
These are naturally occurring compounds that winemakers often add to prevent spoilage and oxidation. While they're generally harmless, some people may be sensitive to them, and a high concentration of sulfites, often found in cheaper wines, can cause headaches and allergic reactions. So, if you've ever opened a bottle of bargain bin wine and woken up the next day feeling like a grape that's been squeezed a little too hard, sulfites might be your culprit. Then we have sugar. Now, who doesn't have a sweet tooth, right? But in wine, sugar is often used to mask the taste of low-quality grapes. Cheap wines can sometimes contain up to 10 teaspoons of sugar per bottle. That's more than in a can of soda. Suddenly your nightly glass of wine is looking a lot less innocent. Finally, let's talk about additives. Some cheaper wines use a cocktail of additives to improve their taste, color, and longevity. These can range from harmless substances like tartaric acid to more questionable ones like Mega Purple, a grape concentrate that's used to deepen the color of wines. These additives aren't necessarily bad for you, but they can cause some unpleasant side effects like an upset stomach. So, while an inexpensive bottle might be kind to your wallet, it might not be as kind to your body. But hey, don't let that put you off your Merlot. Just remember, like with most things in life, moderation is key. And perhaps next time you're in the wine aisle, you might want to think twice before reaching for the cheapest bottle on the shelf. Now let's switch gears and talk about some of the world's most expensive wines. Perched at the pinnacle of the wine world are three bottles that have commanded prices few could even dream of. They are the Screaming Eagle Cabernet Sauvignon, the Romani Conti DRC, and the Chateau Lafitte. First, let's travel to the sun-drenched vineyards of Napa Valley, home to the Screaming Eagle Cabernet Sauvignon, a 6-liter bottle of the 1992 vintage sold at auction for half a million dollars. The Screaming Eagle is not just a wine, it's a symbol of the American dream. Founded in the late 80s, this winery catapulted to fame when its very first vintage received the coveted perfect score from renowned wine critic Robert Parker. Next we journey to the heart of Burgundy, France where the Romani Conti DRC is crafted. This wine is considered the epitome of Pinot Noir. A single bottle of the 1945 vintage fetched an astounding $556,000 at auction. The Romani Conti vineyard has been producing wine since the 13th century, making it a tangible link to history. Finally, we arrive at the legendary Chateau Lafitte in Bordeaux, France. One of the oldest winemaking properties in the region Lafitte's wines were a favorite of Thomas Jefferson. A bottle of the 1777 vintage was sold for $156,000. Chateau Lafitte's wines are known for their finesse, elegance, and longevity. These wines may cost a pretty penny, but their rich history and exceptional quality make them worth every cent. Each sip is not just an indulgence of the senses but a journey through time, a testament to the pursuit of perfection and an experience that transcends the ordinary. So the next time you find yourself in the wine aisle, remember, price is but one element of wine. The true value lies in the stories these bottles tell, the passion that fuels their creation, and the memories they have the power to create. Well, we've certainly covered a lot of ground today, from the vineyards of the world's top wine-producing countries to the intricacies of red and white wine varieties, we've delved deep into the world of wine. We've discovered the stark differences between cheap and expensive wines, not just in price, but also in the process of their creation. Remember, the cost of a bottle doesn't necessarily dictate its quality. From a $10 bottle of table wine to the three most expensive wines in the world, each has its own unique story and flavor profile. And let's not forget the potential impact of cheap white wine on our health. It's always wise to know what you're pouring into your glass. Before we wrap up, do remember to subscribe for more interesting facts about the world of wine. Until next time, cheers to your next glass of vino.